Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, David. How are you? I am very good. Thank you. And you, teacher, how are you? Good. Thank, thank you, David. I'm tired, but I am happy to be here. Do you work today? Yes, yes, sometimes I have, I work for other academies, but always online, always online. Oh, do you have two words, so? Uh, yeah, I have like two or three works. <laughs> I have like three, three different academies, right? Okay. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, hello, Stephanie. Hello, Genaro. Uh, Delmi, hello. 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 Yes. How are you? Okay, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful night. Okay, how do you feel? You're almost finished. How do you feel? Are, are you ready to go to pre intermedio? Yes? Yes, I am ready, teacher. All right, very good, David. That's the good spirit. That's the attitude. That's the good attitude you have to have. What about you, Carlos? Are you ready to go to intermedio, a uh, pre-intermedio? Are you ready? Ready. <laughs> Are, what about you, Vere? Are you ready to go to pre-intermedio? Pre-intermediate? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. Do you guys have your paperwork? Um, ya mandaron todo? Ya mandaron toda la yes. documentación? Okay. What about you, Carlos? Platform. Okay. Very good. Very right, teacher. Vere, you have all the documentation. Congratulations. Carlos, ¿cómo, cómo le va? How are you? Um, finish. Okay, good, good. Finish, finish. Okay. Are you ready to go to pre-intermedio? Are you ready? <laughs> yes? Yes. <laughs> good, good. All right. That's the good attitude. Okay, very good, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. Let me, uh, I just want to share my computer. Hold on. Okay. So, recibieron la guía? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Do you have it? Okay. All right, hold on. Okay, very good. So, let's go ahead and, uh, and share. I want to do some practices with you, okay? So this is the guia that I have for today, the job aid. Uh, let's go over something that, you know, just a little refresher, right? Years, how do I say the years? For example, how do I say this? How do I say this? Okay. Um, uh, excuse me, David. Sorry, I didn't hear Hello. you. Um, uh, no te muy bien, but I think you say 2013, right? It is 2013. Okay, yeah, you can say 2013, right? So I three formas. You can say 2013 or you can say 2013. It's the same. Or you can say 2013, right? So pueden tomar los dos y dos. Pueden tomar este, estos dos números y estos dos números, right? 2013. Okay. Next, how do you say this? This number. How do you say that number? Nighting. 97. Right. Yes, very good. Only remember the pronunciation of teen. 19. Nineteen. 
Correct. You have to say teen, right? Teen, y termina como una N, right? Why? Because if you say this, if you say 90, entonces sería 90, right? This would be 90, okay? So, hay dos pronunciaciones, right? Teen or T. Es bien sutil, ¿verdad? Teen, T. Mm -hmm. So, 1997. Very good, very good. And the last one, how do you say this year? How do you say that? Año histórico, right? You say 763, or you can say 763. Okay. What is the difference between AD and BC? Remember? What is the difference? Ayer les expliqué, ¿se acuerdan? AD and BC. What is the difference? ¿Qué significa AD? Es en medio, lo subió. AD ah, es ¿sí? después de Cristo. Yes. En BC. Y BC y antes de Cristo. Yes, very good, very good. Excellent. Yes, so we use this in English, definitely. Okay. So, for example, um, especialmente años así bien históricos, right? For example, 763 AD. Right, 763 AD. Very good. Nunca han visto así una película y al inicio la introducción de una película así histórica dice el año, right? Esta película se toma lugar en este año, right? Have you seen that? Y dice normalmente así, AD or BC. Okay, very good. So number one, how do you say this year? Number one. How do you say that year? Come on, come on. Speaking, come on, tell me. 1585. Yes, 1585, very good. Number two, right? Lo voy a estar nombrando porque veo que están dormidos. Number two, Stephanie Morales, number two. Number two, how do you say that? 1982. Uh, can you repeat? I'm sorry, Stephanie. 1982. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent, Stephanie. Okay. Number three, tell me. Number three. 1967. Excellent. Tell me. Very good. Number four, Hector. Number four. Or Seria sixteen seventy seven. Okay, 77. Re repeat no, repeat it one more time. 33, 33. 16, 16, 16, 16, no, no, sixteen. Sixteen, no, sixteen. Sixteen. Fifteen. Uh -huh. Fifth. Se escribe así. Fifth. Pretty twenty. Fifteen. Yes. 15. 15. Okay, very good. Number five, uh, Aurora, number five. Thirty-three. Uh, Thirty-three K. Uh, after Christ. Uh, after Christ. Or you can say. AD. AD, very good. 33 AD, right? Okay. Very good, very good. David and Nestor, number six. Um, um, 356. Mm -hmm. e, and the letters that are there? BC. BC, right? Before Christ, antes de Cristo, right? 
Very good. Genaro, uh, number seven. Two hundred. Two hundred and and one. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Two thousand. Oh. 2001, I used that. 2001. Yes, okay. very good, very good. All right, excellent. And let's see, who else? Uh, another person, Carlo, ah, Esmeralda, we have Esmeralda, number eight. How do you say that year? Number eight. Esmeralda? Okay, no está ahí. All right, all right, let's see. Uh, who else? Who else? Um, Stephanie, number eight. How do you say that year? Two thousand nineteen. Two thousand nineteen. Excellent. Number nine, Bere. Bere, number nine. Twenty, twenty-five. Uh, no, it, that's number ten. Number nine. Ah, perdón. Twenty, oh, oh. No, uh oh. Oh, zero, zero. Ah, perdón. No, how, how, can, how can we say this? What's the right way to say this one? Que sería en, en, en español el año 2000, right? In English, how do you say it? Mm, 2000. 2000, that's it. That's it, finish. 2000. 2000. Okay, very good. I'm go Alguien ahí que se, se puede apagar el micrófono, por favor, solo porque hay un poquito de ruido ahí. Okay, very good. I want to ask you a question, right? Let's put this in practice. In 19, no, in 2015, okay? Ustedes me tienen que decir algo que estaban haciendo en ese año. 2015, ¿qué estaban haciendo? What were you doing? I was in the college. I was where? In the college. In the college. In the high school. Yeah. No, uh, entonces sería high school, right? Porque school, college yeah. en inglés es universidad, es un nivel universitario. I was in high school. Very good. Okay, excellent. I was in high school, right? Very good. Another, another one. What were you doing in 2001? ¿Se acuerdan? Ese fue el año de las Torres Gemelas. What were you doing? ¿Qué estaban haciendo en ese, en ese, en ese año? Come on, come on, English, English, come on. Estamos usando I was, simplemente I was. ¿Ok? What were you doing? ¿Qué estaban haciendo? Uh -huh. I was in my work. Okay, very good. Eh, ¿Todavía trabajas por ese mismo lugar, eh, empresa? No. No? Okay, so, no. ¿cómo se llamaba esa empresa? Merlet. I was working for... In Merlet. Met, uh, Metlife, así se llama? Merlet, Merlet. M-E-R-R... -R -R. L E Merlet. No. Merlet, a una T al final. Una T al final. Ok, very good, very good. So, okay. puedes decir esto, ¿verdad? Si quieres expresar que estabas trabajando por esa empresa, you can say, I was working for Merlet. Ok. Esto de working, ING, es el presente continuo, ¿verdad? Right? Solamente que aquí estamos usando el pasado continuo, ¿verdad? Right? No sé si ustedes han visto eso, pero lo van a ver definitivamente en, en pre-intermedio. Okay. Very good. 
All uh, right, very good, excellent. So, aquí podemos hablar con I was, right? Podemos hablar sobre eh, nuestro pasado, right? Uh, for example, uh, last year, ¿qué estaban haciendo? El año de la cuarentena. <laughs> I was, I was. I was in my house. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good. I was, I was in my house. <laughs> I was in my house in quarantine. Creo que sí se escribe. No. <laughs> All right. I forgot how to spell uh, quarantine. <laughs> I was in my house in quarantine. Very good. Very good. Okay. So we can use this, right? I, I was. was mm -hmm. What? Uh, Netflix. <laughs> I was watching Netflix. Netflix. Mm -hmm. Netflix. No, no es con una, no es, es solo con una X. Netflix. Okay, very good, very good, right? Now, if I ask you, for example, um, today is Thursday. No, today's Wednesday, I'm sorry. Today is Wednesday. But what were you doing on Monday? Monday. I'm going to be more specific. Monday at 11 a.m. ¿Qué estaban haciendo? El lunes que acaba de pasar. Monday at 11 a.m. What were you doing? I was cooking dinner. Uh, no. Yeah. no, no, not dinner. A.m. No. Lunch. I was cooking lunch. <laughs> All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. So, simplemente, si ustedes ven, es el, el mismo was que, que aprendimos esta semana. Right? Solamente que al verbo le estoy poniendo ing, que es presente continuo. No me quiero salir de, del tema, pero es algo que ustedes van a ver más. Si no lo han visto todavía, pues algo que van a ver. Ok, para hablar de acciones del pasado. Ok, very good. All right. Let's go, let's go to the topic, right? So this week, right, we learned how to use WH questions with did. Ok. Esto es uno de los temas del video de la sección 5, right? So let, let's, let's review. Let's review that so that we can all understand, all right? So I use what did you, and then I use a verb. Claro, el sujeto puede cambiar, ¿verdad? Si me estoy refiriendo a he or she. Uh, but the question is, what did you do? Uh, what did you eat for breakfast? Sorry. What did you eat for breakfast? Okay. ¿Qué comiste para desayuno? Okay. Number two, what did you, what did your boss say? Or what did you say to your boss? Number three, what did you see? For example, oh, I went to the movies. Fue al cine. Uh -huh. What did you see? ¿Qué viste? ¿Cuál película? When did you come to England? Okay. Very good. All right. Very good. So this is for questions, right? Right. This is for questions. All right. Also, we learn what WH plus was and word for questions también. When were you born? Cuando naciste. When were you born? What were you thinking? Puede ser como una expresión en sorpresa, ¿verdad? ¿Qué estabas pensando? What were you thinking? Okay. And number three, what was she saying? ¿Qué estaba diciendo ella? What was she saying? All right, let's go ahead and practice here. Let's finish this sentence here using WH questions and was and were. How can you finish this question? Look at number one. Como sería? Number one. We have to use was and were. Was. 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 Where. Was. was. John. Was John. Uh -huh. Where was John? Where was John? Where was John? 
Where was John? Okay. Number two. Were. We were. No, tiene que empezar con WH first. Why, Why, Why were they? Were hungry? they um, hungry? Why were they hungry? Very good. Porque tenían hambre ellos. Okay. Number three. Where were? Uh -huh. Where were we? Yeah. <laughs> Suena un poquito mucha W. Where were we? Where were we? Uh, ¿Dónde estábamos? Where were we? <laughs> All right. Very good. Number four. Who, Who was you? No, sería where, right? Yeah. Siempre cuando usamos you, Hello. usamos where. Who was Who were you? Okay, very good. Right? Son preguntas pequeñas, hay right? cortas, pero um, estamos haciendo las preguntas en el pasado, right? Uh, number five. What do you think? Number five. Why was he late? Why was he late? Okay. ¿Por qué estaba tarde él? Number six. What? What? Was what? What was this? What was this? Okay, and number seven. Where? Where, where was, Jimmy. was Jimmy? Where was Jimmy? Very good, excellent, okay. Very good, very good. Okay, let's do a speaking exercise today, okay? This is what I want you to find out. I want you to use English only, right? La estructura de las preguntas que aprendimos, right? En las que vieron en la sesión 5 también. I want you to speak to your partner and I want you to find this, all right? So tenemos dos personas, student A and student B, okay? Van a trabajar en grupo de tres, solo para tener una persona extra ahí para que pueda escuchar, pero todos van a participar. Okay, so student A, will ask the questions. Esa persona va a estar haciendo las preguntas, right? The student B will answer the questions. So, this is what you have to find out. Tienen que encontrar birthday and birthplace, right? ¿Cuándo nació? ¿Dónde nació? Favorite movie as a child, right? La película favorita. Favorite sport growing up. Favorite food as a child. Favorite music as a teenager. Right? Y obviamente la persona va a usar was aquí, right? Right? Por ejemplo, si quiere decir yo nací en tal fecha, tiene que usar was. Okay? All right, vocabulary. Child. ¿Qué quiere decir child? Niño. 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 Growing up. ¿Qué quiere decir la frase? Growing up. What does that creciendo. mean? Creciendo. Creciendo. Bueno, estaba creciendo. Yeah. Exacto. Child, ya la vimos. Teenager. Adolescente. Adolescente, right? Ahí cuando entra de 13 a 19 se considera teenager. All right. Very good. So let's go ahead and find this information, right? Now, no quiero, que le, le pre, no quiero que sea así la pregunta. Birthday, birthplace. Favorite movie as a child. No, eso no es una pregunta. Ustedes tienen que hacer la pregunta. The student A tiene que formular una pregunta. Right? Where, when were you born? Where were you born? What was? What was? your favorite movie as a child, right? Tiene que formular una, una pregunta completa, okay? Right? Igualmente de student B. Student B tiene que responder en una oración completa. Por ejemplo, si le preguntan, where were you born? Santa Ana. No, eso no es hablar inglés. I, mean, I was born, born in Santa Ana. Yeah. Right? San Salvador. 
Exactly, right? So complete sentence, right? Eso me refiero a complete sentence, right? Háganlo, háganlo porque allí, allí viene la práctica, okay? Let's do it. Let's go to groups. Ready? All right, let's go to groups. We have uh, 10 people. Let me see. Maybe let's do groups of... All right, grupo de, grupo de dos y yo voy a estar con una persona extra allí. Okay. All right, very good. Let's go. Let's go to groups. Todos acepten, ¿verdad? No se queden fuera si no van a dejar a su compañero sin, sin, eh, sin compañero. <laughs> okay, let's go to groups. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Are you there? Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Yes. Can you hear me? Mm, yes. Oh, come on. All right, very good. Let's, let's go, Carlos. You're going to be student A, Carlos. Okay? You have to okay. ask me the questions. Tú me vas a preguntar a mí. Yo te voy a responder, right? Okay. Eh... Now, lo que puedes hacer okay. cuando yo responda, Carlos, es tomar una nota y anotar ahí mi respuesta. Okay? Okay. Sí, primero tendría que formular la, uh -huh. la pregunta. Yes. Birthday. ¿Qué quiere decir birthday? Tú ya sabes. Yeah. Qué, ¿eh? Yes. So. Birthday. Birthday. Right. So, ¿tú quieres saber cuándo nació tal persona? ¿Cómo se lo preguntarías? ¿Cómo es para la pregunta? What? Ajá. What was? Uh -huh. What was? Eh... Your birthday. Okay. Now, birthday, estamos hablando de tiempo, ¿verdad, Carlos? Yes. Entonces, no puede ser what. Sería? Uh, when. When. Very good. When. When was. When was. When was your birthday? Okay. Very good. Puede también preguntar eso. When were you born? When? When was born? Okay. When were you born? When you? Okay. When were you born? When were you born? Yes. Very good. I was born in 1982. 1982. Uh, repeat, please. I was born in 1982. Okay. Number two. Mm -hmm. mm. The favorite movie. Uh, what, what was your favorite movie? As a child? Yes, my favorite movie as a child was yeah. The Lion King. The Lion King. Ah, Lion King. Oh. Okay. Uh, repeat, please. My favorite movie as a my child favorite. was The Lion King. No tienes que escribir todo lo que estoy diciendo, sino solo la respuesta. La idea, right. ok. Right. Uh -huh. Me dijo Ray King. Lion, Lion, Lion King. Lion King, yes. Lion King. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. <laughs> eh, number three. Eh, what was what was your favorite sport growing up? 
My favorite sport growing up was baseball. Baseball. Okay, number four. What was your favorite food as a child? My favorite food as a child was pizza. <laughs> pizza. pizza. In number five. Uh, what is what 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 was your favorite music as a teenager? My favorite music as a teenager was rap. Rap. Yes. Okay. Very good. Excellent, Carlos. Okay, Carlos, te voy a poner con Delmi. Okay. Now, so that you can practice with her. Okay. So, lo mismo okay, que teacher. hicimos, right? You're going to do it with her. What were your favorite food as a child? My favorite food was um, chicken soup. Okay. What were your favorite music as a teenager? My favorite music was rap. Rap. Okay. Uh, what? What were? Um. Pardon, pardon. <laughs> what? Were your favorite music as a tenor? Tenor. Um, my favorite music uh, was um rap, <laughs> rap too. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Otra vez. <laughs> um. Sí. All right, very good. So, let, eh, ¿quién me va a preguntar a mí? You ask me and I'm going to answer. Okay. <laughs> when were you, you born? I was born in 1982. Okay. And... When were you, no, where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Okay. Okay, very good. ¿Qué más? Uh, other questions, come on. David. Other... <laughs> okay. What? Uh... Were your favorite sport growing up? My favorite sport growing up was baseball. Baseball. What were your favorite movie as a child? My favorite movie as a child was The Lion King. The Lion King. Mm -hmm. What uh, what were your your favorite foods as a child? My favorite food as a child was McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> it's that all. Uh, that's it. No, one more. <laughs> one more question. 
What okay, were uh, your favorite music as a teenager? Oh, my favorite music was rap. <laughs> <laughs> I, li I like rock too. I like I like rock. I used to Metallica, Guns N' Roses. Rap in English or Spanish? No, yeah, in, in English. <laughs> because I was in the United States. I grew up in the United States. So we you, listen to we listen singer? to rap. You uh, favorite singer? My favorite singer, like rap singer? Ooh, I don't know. Uh, Maybe Snoop Dogg. I like everything from West Coast, East Coast. I like everything. Uh, Na Nas, uh, Notorious B.I.G., all those old, old school. Una más difícil. Your favorite scene? Uh, my favorite, no, song. <laughs> Say song. song. Yeah, okay. song. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't have a song. <laughs> I don't have a specific song. But uh, I, I used to like like rap in the 90s, like 90s rap. Mm, mm -hmm. okay. okay, very Maybe. good, guys. <laughs> All right, so we're going to change groups, okay? We're going to go back to the session, and then we're going to talk, and then we're going to do this activity again, okay? Okay. All right, so we're going to go back now. Bye. Okay, all right, everybody. Okay, welcome back. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, Hector, who did you speak to? Con quien hablaste, Hector? Who was your partner? Se me olvidó el nombre. Genaro, <laughs> Carlos, David. Genaro. Genaro. Ah, ok, very good. Ahora, Hector, te voy a preguntar, pero no te voy a preguntar acerca de ti, sino acerca de Genaro. Ok. Uh -huh. Very good. Ahí, so, todos tienen ahí las preguntas, right? Por ahí, por la mano. Ok. Sí. Eh, Hector, uh -huh. when was Genaro born? Eh. He is uh, in Chitoto. Okay, very good. ¿Cuáles son los errores que está cometiendo allí, Héctor? ¿Escucharon? He, is. he, he is. was. Right? Estoy preguntando de Genaro. Entonces, él nació, ¿verdad, Héctor? He was born. Right? No es is, tú usaste es is. Ese es el verb to be presente ahorita. Estamos hablando de algo en el pasado. When was he born? Hector. Sí. Sería entonces. He was. Uh -huh, uh -huh. In board, is born. No, oh, y dijiste es otra vez. <ríe> Iba por buen camino, pero te fuiste por sí. Ok. 
permítame compartir, Héctor. Héctor, esto es bien básico. Y Ajá. yo quiero que, que tú vayas ya a pre-intermedio y ya vayas con estas herramientas. Look, te estoy preguntando, right? Birthplace and birthday. Primero te pregunté birthday. When? When was he born? Okay? So tú, Héctor, me tienes que hablar de él. Right? Y el nacimiento de él ya pasó. Entonces no puedo usar is, sino que tengo que usar was. He was born in, tú me dijiste, Suchitoto. Suchitoto, así se escribe. ¿eh? ¿Cuál es el problema aquí, Héctor? Yo te pregunté birth date. La fecha. Yes. He was born in... ¿En qué año nació? 19, 19 eh, Es que no me acuerdo la de más. Oh. La fecha que me dio. Ok. Uh, Genaro, when were you born, Genaro? 1974. 1974. 1974. Very good. Ok. And ahora sí, Héctor, regresando a ti. Where was he born? Oh, sí es. He was born in Suchitoto. Yes, ahí sí. Ok, Suchitoto. Very good. What was his favorite movie as a child? ¿Te acuerdas, Héctor? Uh, What was his favorite movie as a child? He was is, eh, eh, perdón. <laughs> he was eh, piedra, creo que me dijo. He was, okay, in English, esa caricatura se dice Flintstones. Creo que se escribe así. No, no me acuerdo si creo que es así, no sé si es con. No, es sin G. Sin G. Flintstones, así se llama la caricatura en inglés, okay? Pero aquí hay un problema, Héctor. Si tú me diste, si tú me dices, he was Flintstone, tú me estás diciendo, él era un picapiedra. <risa> no, no es esa la pregunta. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? I was favorite movie, Flintstone. Ok, sí, pero no I, sino cuál es el sujeto correcto. Y, ok, so vamos a usar una cosa. His favorite movie was Flintstone. Ahora sí, ¿viste, Héctor? Sí. Right? No puedo decir, he was Flintstone, él era un picapiedra. No, tengo que usar el sujeto de his favorite movie. Ok. All right. What was his favorite sport growing up? His favorite, uh, favorite sport uh, was uh, basketball. Was basketball. Okay. Very good. Now, no voy a continuar aquí con Héctor porque ya ustedes más o menos tienen la idea de lo que estamos haciendo, ¿verdad? So, van a hablar con otra persona. Vamos a cambiar los grupos, ¿ok? Pero quiero que ustedes puedan obtener esa información y la pueden escribir así como yo hice con Héctor. ¿Ok? All right. Let's go to uh, another group, all right? So, vamos a cambiar los grupos, all right? Let's go to another group. ¿Ok? All right. So, hold on. Hold on. Okay, ahora sí. Let's go to the groups. Let's go.
Hello, Stephanie. Eh, si puede aceptar la invitación, por favor, para ir al grupo. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, Carlos. Sorry que la persona que, que puse aquí no, no está aceptando la invitación para venir acá. Ok. All right. Uh, now, Carlos, uh, I'm going to ask you questions. Okay. Okay. Uh, when were you born? Uh -huh, number one, when were you born? When were you born? ¿Cómo es la cosa, teacher? Usted, usted me iba a preguntar, pero yo iba a responder. Así sí, cosa. yo te estoy preguntando. Ah, ah, when were you born? When were you born? Uh, I was born. I was born in San Salvador. Okay. Uh, when were you born? When? Mm -hmm. when, you born? when were you born? When? Mm, I was born mm -hmm. in 30 mm -hmm. April in 1965, mm -hmm. 7. Uh, 65 or 67? 67. 1967. 1967, yes. Okay, very good. Okay, do you remember? No sé si te vas a acordar de todas estas preguntas, pero puedes decirme cualquier otra respuesta. What was your favorite movie as a child? Uh, my favorite movie yeah. uh -huh. as a child, uh, Guerra de las Galaxias, ah, Star Wars. Star Wars, ah, okay. Star Wars. Very good. Okay, what was your favorite sport growing up? My favorite sport grow, growing up, atletismo. Okay. So, estoy escribiendo his favorite sport growing up was a track and field. And in English, eso se dice track and field. What was your favorite food as a child? Uh, my favorite food as a child is was was yes was my favorite food as a child was mm. <laughs> okay very good um what was your favorite move a uh, music favorite music. music as a teenager um, my favorite music as a teenager is pink floyd oh okay pink pink electronic. nice yes. nice okay very good so solo voy a escribir esa última his favorite Music as a teenager plus Pink Floyd. All right, very good, very good. Okay. 
Y está Stephanie ahí también. Ah, ok, Stephanie, you're here. Ok, Stephanie, ¿escuchaste la actividad que estaba haciendo? ¿Sí? Yes. Sí. Yeah. Ok, muy bien. Estamos todo antes. Eh, ¿Perdón? La que estábamos haciendo sí. anteriormente. Sí, the same. Exact. Exact. Carlos, te voy a poner en mute. Ok. Exact, exactly, uh, Stephanie. Ok. Very good. So, I'm going to ask you a question, Stephanie, right? Okay. When, when were you born? I was born in 2000. Very good. Where were you born? I was born in San Salvador. Good, good. What was your favorite movie as a child? My favorite movie as a child was ¿Y dónde están las rubias? Okay. Twilight. What was your favorite sport growing up? My favorite sport growing up was swimming. Mm, nice. What was your favorite food as a child? My favorite food as a child was Chicken soap. Ah, nice. What was your favorite music as a teenager? My favorite music as a teenager was rap. Good. All right. Excellent. Okay. Very good, Stephanie. I, I'm going to go uh, back to the group. Vamos a regresar al grupo, okay? So, vamos a reportar, reportar y compartir esa información, okay? Okay. All right. Very good. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Okay. Let's start with Anna. Anna, who did you speak to? Con quien habló? Eh, no le escucho, microphone. Ay, ahí lo tenía en silencio. Ahí ahí es poco with Berenice. Ah, okay. Tell me something about Bere. Dígame algunas cosas de ella que encontró sobre ella. Um, um, what Berenice, um, um, your birthday, your birthday was in 1993. Mm -hmm. In Ilopango. Okay. Uh, she she was um, no your favorite uh, movie uh, was um, The Lion King. Very good. Now, como estamos hablando uh, de ella, Ana, el el sujeto que vamos a usar es her her favorite movie. Her. Ah, her, her mm -hmm. first favorite movie was the, the Leon King. Okay, very good. Uh, 
her her favorite sport was uh, soccer in in your child. Sure. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, I. In in your favorite food, no, her favorite food was chicken fry. Good. Mm -hmm. I finish uh, your music. Her music uh, favorite was uh, romant pop romantic. Okay, very good, very good. Now, como estoy hablando de otra persona, verdad, tengo que usar. His, his or her. Her. Right? His, si es, si es un caballero, her. Right? So, I'm going to share with you aquí, lo voy a compartir, right? Eh, la información que yo obtuve de Carlos. Okay? So, voy a, si ustedes ven aquí, estoy usando el sujeto correspondiente, ¿verdad? He, he was born in San Salvador. Right? Aquí no puedo decir I, sino que tengo que decir he. Estoy hablando de él. He was born in 1967. Now, aquí voy a usar his favorite sport, porque es algo que le pertenecía a él. His favorite movie was Star Wars. Right? His favorite sport growing up was... Eh, at, él, él dijo que era... ¿Cuál era, Carlos? Perdón. I forgot in Spanish. Atletismo, le dije. Pero me usted otra palabra. Ah, yes. Ajá. Eso se dice en inglés track and field. Track and field. His favorite food as a child was pupusas. His favorite music as a teenager was Pink Floyd. Okay. Excellent, right? So ven cómo estoy usando el sujeto, ¿verdad? His. O sea, en el caso de que eh, fuera una... Una mujer, ¿verdad? Que yo estoy reportando sobre otra persona. En este caso, podría ser una mujer. Her favorite movie was Star Wars. Her favorite sport was, lo que sea, soccer. ¿Ok? So, cambia, ¿verdad? Cambia el, el, el sujeto, ¿verdad? Ok, very good. All right. Uh, we don't have time, solo nos queda un minuto, but I, I, this is a good activity, right? Uh, for you to, to use questions and report information, right? Recuerden que eh, no, sola, no todas las veces van a estar hablando de ustedes mismos, right? Sino que muchas veces van a estar reportando de lo que dijo otra persona. Okay? En ese caso podemos usar he, he or his. Okay, very good. So let me stop right here. Eh, la tarea, si no la han terminado, es la plataforma, ¿verdad? Completar el examen es terminar la sección 4, 5, ¿verdad? Estar ya al 100%. Ustedes pueden ver su, su progreso. Ahí creo que hay una pestaña que dice progreso. Denle clic allí. Asegúrense que tienen todo ya en 100. ¿Ok? ¿Todos saben dónde está esa, esa pestaña? ¿Sí? Yes, ya la buscaron, ¿verdad? Entonces yeah. allí entran a su, a, su, a su curso, dice progreso, denle en clic y verifiquen que ya tienen todo completo, ¿verdad? Ahí de, debería de salirle eh, completo en cada sección, incluyendo los exámenes, ¿ok? So revisen antes de que... Por veces, por, por veces puede haber algún, algún error de la, de, del sistema, de la plataforma o lo que sea, o, o simplemente a ustedes terminaron el examen, pero no le dieron someter, ¿verdad? Se les olvidó poner someter pensando que ya terminaron y después lo, eh, se dan cuenta de que no terminaron, ¿ok? So as asegúrense que todo esté bien completo ahí. All right, very good. So I'll see you tomorrow then, ¿ok? Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks. Ok, bye. bye.